How's it going everybody? My name's KC, and welcome to another premium character walkthrough. Next up... George Washington, ye old cherry tree. Those are his respective specs. So for 180 donuts... I Ooh, a premium character. Didn't get a notification, so I will have to check to see if that's turned on or not. What do you mean I need a card to grow my hemp? George Washington, he has an axe. Previous to the execution of any official act of the president. What the? Where did Philadelphia go? What land is this? And why is Quickie Mart spelled so atrociously? Mr. Washington, you've been brought forward in time to the town of Springfield in America. It seems to happen to ex-presidents an awful lot. Forward in time? How old is America? 242 years. You're kidding me, right? That's a joke! Because I told Jefferson I gave this country a decade. Tops. He was all, Liberty is mankind's natural state. And I was, yada yada yada, ten years, chump. Bank on it. Still, it's cool to be wrong. So tell me about this town. Springfield is named after its founder, Jebediah Springfield. You would have known him as Hans Sprungfeld in your time. Sprungfeld? That guy has a town named after him? Oh man, where is he? He's going to be picking wooden teeth out of his neck for a month. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I'm laughing. It's just that, well, he's dead. But he doesn't know that. <laughs> Off he goes. What happened to his axe? I thought he had an axe in the picture. Now he has a sword. I don't understand this guy. I don't trust him. Now he's gonna go kill a guy that doesn't exist. Okay, so Sprungfeld is dead. Everyone I know is dead. I get it. So now what? Professor Frank is trying to find a way to send you home. In the meantime, he might find you like it here. Our previous ex-president seems very happy. You want to keep it down, please? I can barely hear myself split rails here, people. Sheesh, that guy was president? Number 16. He's so gangly looking. Doesn't really scream president, you know. I guess people will elect anything. Ooh, I don't know, man. I think Lincoln could take him. I'd pay to see that. You know why America has bicameral legislator, right? Duh, because it's a good way to keep power from consolating in one body? Nope. Because when we were tossing around ideas for a new government, just brain jamming, you know, some idiot throws out the term bicameral legislator. And everybody just latches onto it. You know that thing where everybody's trying to sound hip and smart by using the hot new term? So annoying. I know, brah. You know what I'm saying, brah? Every time I hear the words, I couldn't decide whether to fall asleep or kill myself. Just totally nuts. I voted for the thing to just to shut everybody up. This is incredible. Our scholars need to know this stuff. You've got to commit your memories to paper. Seriously, if I told you all the dirt I've got on John Adams, you'd flip your powdered wig. Dude was messed up. Sweet. Alrighty, so who has the next quest? Who has it? Apparently no one. No one has the next quest. I'm pretty sure it's actually Lisa, but she's actually wrapped up in the main quest line at the moment. That's what happens when you're doing two things at once, 
Things are just going to cross paths and you have to wait. Play the waiting game. I'm done playing the waiting game. I'm pretty sure it's Lisa. So we'll see what happens. I really love that animation, by the way. It's so cool looking. Ah, there we go. I hope you're not finding modern day America too strange, Mr. Washington. Nah. It'll always be America, so long as people continue to live free, toss their excrement in the streets, and hate the British. Actually, England is our closest ally now. You want to repeat that, little lady? Uh, we've had a lot of time to repair relations. Repair relations? With a country that is way more powerful than us? And wants nothing more than to make us her colony again? Well, first of all, our military is a lot bigger than theirs. Then we should attack immediately, before they have time to raise conscripts. Unless, of course, you'd prefer to see musky carrying redcoats on every street corner. Summon my war council! Summon your what? What are you doing? Invading who? Britain? Uh, I think he's stuck in the past even though he's in the present. I still think this is kind of weird. But what is he going to say? Okay, if our ships leave Boston tomorrow, we can reach England in two months. We'll rendezvous with Hessian mercenaries. Little girl, remind me to write a letter to Hesha. Get that ball rolling. Hessian mercenaries aren't the military forces they once were. We will then move inland and seize the Royal Saltpeter Mines. I'd like to see King George try to fight a war without Saltpeter. <laughs> With a combined force of 20,000, we will easily subdue all of England. What do you think, Lisa Simpson? An elegant plan, no? You really think 20,000 men armed with muskets will do any good against tanks, machine guns, and missiles? If we have enough horses, yes. I also plan on doubling gin rations to boost morale. A drunk army is an effective army. All we need now is the men. <laughs> what? He's now recruiting an army? I thought Abraham Lincoln was crazy when all he likes to do is split rails. But this? This has taken on a whole new form of crazy. George Washington, man, what are you on? I think he needs modern day medicine in the worst possible way. Okay. I've been traveling door to door all day and so far I've got zero recruits for my grand army of the Brit-hating Republic. What's happened to the England detesting nation of proud limey stranglers I love? Where's their fighting spirit? Seriously, the English are our friends, very nice people, good music. And the most annoying thing? Everyone's just falling all over themselves to thank me. You're the father of our country. Thank you, George Washington. If you love me so much, get in the boat and help me stick a cannonball in Big Ben. George Washington, thank you for everything, sir. Thank you for your wisdom, your strength, and for being everything a man can be. And I mean everything. Uh-huh. Look, that's very nice, but I'm just a guy. Happy to be of service. No need to go crazy, pal. And apparently he's going to reject that. So first he wants to attack England because he's bat bonkers. He finally gets some praise and he doesn't care. And this isn't working, by the way. Usually when you click a, a character, 
And they're going somewhere, it follows them, it's not doing that. Oh, and the sound, of course, decided not to work. But I'll figure it out, I always do. Ah, how I missed you, sound. My name's Ned Flanders. Ah, there we go. I pressed the wrong one. George Washington, it is really him, the greatest real-life superhero of all. Thanks for being the best founding father a country could ask for. We love you! Fine, that's really fine. Thank you, go away. They're just trying to show their appreciation, sir. But they act like I'm some sort of saint. It's seriously creepy. Did you know there are guys on the Supreme Court who think laws should be based on what me and my friends were thinking about more than two centuries ago? We didn't have electricity, and trust me, most of the time we were writing constitutions and laws, we were thinking about what to order for dinner. I'm just a guy, and I'm really happy that America worked out so well. That rocks. But again, just a guy. Excuse me, Mr. Washington, I'm like your biggest fan ever, and... I own slaves. Did you know that? It stinks, but it's true, so please leave me alone. Well, you must have had a very good reason. There is no reason for owning slaves! Ah, you people are beyond weird. Yes, just like me. And I was gonna flee for the admirers like some sort of celebrity running away from their stalking possessed fans. And where is he going? He's going back to where he originally was. I don't think that is a very good hiding spot, but that brown house seems to be the safety net for pretty much anyone who dares venture inside. Alrighty. So guess what? This is the final quest for George Washington. Still think I'm perfect? Watch this. This will prove I'm no saint. I'm going to cut down this cherry tree. And then when he asked me if I cut it down, I am going to lie about it. There. Still think I'm all that? But sir, everyone knows George Washington can't tell a lie. What grown man is incapable of lying? Are you serious? He is? No, don't do that. No! I like it! Oh, and the town is glitchy. Blue Stacks has struck again. Did it strike the cherry tree though? Let's see. It did! My tree is missing! And he's getting something to cut down. You can bet your ass. So, let's see if I can figure this out. And get it to return. It's back, baby. Look at him go, baby. He's got a very evil grin on his face. It's like him and the axe are one. I think this is what he was born to do. In modern times, anyway. What does that mean? I don't know. Anyways, that is officially going to wrap up George Washington, a premium character. I like the fact that we got the cherry tree, had a couple animations. The donut total for this was pretty standard. It's still expensive, but at least it hasn't changed since day one. So we shouldn't be really all that surprised that it cost what it cost. Oh yeah, also remember to check the description for a link of other premium characters. I got a bunch of them, so chances are if you're looking for a certain character, I'm probably bound to have it. So thanks for watching, my name's KC, and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye guys!